Hi everyone, it's Ply here from Rogue Wave Coffee. Today we are doing an open box of new grinder from Mix Cool, the Aries Grinders. So let's get into it. I got this grinder a few days ago, earlier this week. <laughs> we haven't opened it at all. Still have this DHL tape on it. It got opened by uh, our custom. That's okay. Ah, boom! Now you can't see me. So this is Mix Cool made in Taiwan. The new grinder that some of you may have seen it at the uh, Portland Coffee Expo and maybe in Taiwan and they're set to be released later this year. So let's take a look. All right. I guess we're not the first one to open since Customs already opened it. Here we go. Oh, come with the handle. I haven't seen the box yet. I have played with the grinder a couple of times. Okay, it said the Aries Electronic Coffee Grinder. It's my first time seeing the actual retail box. And on the side here on the box, it also have the feature, three second disassemble, 83 millimeter titanium coating conical burr. It's huge, we'll take a look later. Variable grinding speed, auto stop. So auto stop is really cool when you just like talk to your customers, doing a brew or whatever, you're busy, and then it just stops by itself. So that's quite nice. And the power supply is really good on this one because it's from 100 to 240 volt. So you can use all around the world. All right, let's take a look. Okay, now we're talking. Come with the manual. This would be the serial number. Nice packaging. Cord. Uh, this one go underneath the porta filter area. Blind shaker. And the grinder. Cool. So we've been working with the mixed cool guys for, I would say, a few years, but only been a year and a bit. Um, we distribute the scale as well, the mixed cool katsai scale. All right, so this is the grinder and the burr have a quick release mechanism. And that's the burr. We'll take a closer look in a little bit. The really cool feature about this that I really like is that every time you take the burr out, you put the burr back in, the calibrations stay the same. So you don't have to recalibrate it. All right, let's put this guy back and it's done. That's how easy it is for the burr. Um, this is the, the hopper, it's short hopper. So it's for single dose mainly. And on this side here, we also have rival speed. Let's take a look at the blind shaker real quick. The blind shaker fits onto your part of filters. And also it's magnetic on top. So essentially you are grinding into a blind shaker, just like that. This here is your grind adjustment. I think there's a lock here, yeah. So there's a button here that locks the, the grind setting so that the, it won't move. So when you need to change the grind side, you have to push here and then you can turn the grind. Yeah. This is micro step adjustment, but you can't really hear any click. Essentially, it's pretty much a stepless grinder. The button is at the back right here. And this little guy here, go right there just to make it look a little bit better. One thing about this grinder also is that it's very quiet. This grinder, is quite nice to use at home and in the shop. And it looks quite nice too. Okay, let's plug it in. All right. First time turning it on in Canada. You see the blue lights? So this is where you change your grinding speeds. So we have 90 RPM, 105, 120, 135, and 150. Five speeds that you can play around with your grind adjustment. So it's not just micro adjustment, it's also the grinding speed that also contribute to the fines and or the particle size, uh, how consistent your coffee is that come out. So when you're pulling a shot at one grind setting, at 90 and at 150, your shot gonna be different. Your pour, pour gonna be different just because of how fast it, the coffee is been grinding. Okay, and then I think you press this. I haven't used it in a while. There you go. So that at 120, you cannot change the speed while it's running. So it's auto detect that uh, there's no coffee, so it just stopped by itself. And then when it's faster, the sound's gonna be a little different. All right. So for this grinder as well, there's also so a safety mechanism. If you're plugging in and you're cleaning for some reason, then you're taking this hopper off. Yeah. Uh, when you do this, you cannot turn on the grinder. Yeah, as you can see, um, the light is moving here. So when you press it, it's just saying that you cannot turn it on. It's a safety mechanism for the burr and for also for your finger as well. And then when you put this back on, there you go. Now that you can turn it on again. 
So we are going to be doing some testing on the grind. Um, today we won't go too in depth, but we're going to check out the grinding speed on the slowest and the fastest setting. Um, we're going to see how fast this grinder grind the coffee and then we're going to take a look at the grind size. Later on today, we're also going to be grinding, pulling a couple of shots. We can taste the coffee as well. So let's get started. We're going to do a 20 grams um, standard. Over here, there's also grind size numbers as well. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, we were, when we were pulling shots before at the expo, uh, I think we were at around two. So we're gonna push it back to two. The grinder is also usable for pour overs and then you're gonna be on the coarser side, so it's around seven, eight, right on the side here. All right, let's get started. Uh, today we're grinding Ethiopia Natural, which is currently our hollow bottle. This is lovely. Okay, 20 grams, perfect. And let's turn this on. Let's do at the slowest speed and see. So the grind size right at two. Um, hopefully this is the right grind size for espresso, we'll, but we'll test that later on. Okay, so we can put the coffee in first. And we'll press start. So again, this is where the lowest speed, and you can hear the noise is not too bad. And that's done, and let's then we'll auto stop. Okay, so auto stop at around 27 seconds. It's actually finished at around 22 seconds or so when looking at the timing. And then one more thing is that there's a little knob or there should be a little knob right here. This is for your static click so that you'll get out uh, those fines that kind of sticking to the bird. Where is it again? Um, there you go. So we'll do a couple of times. Perfect. And twist. Okay. So there's a little bit of retention, I put in 20 grams. Um, again, this is the first grind, okay? 19.5. Um, so there's a little bit of retention, not too bad. But we'll grind again and see if there is more retentions. The grind size looks okay. I think this might be a good starting point for espresso. We'll do it again when it's at the maximum. Second, once you have less retention, 20 grams. And we're going to be doing at high speed, which is 150 RPM. So we'll change that. Okay. Sounds good. And we're going to start the machine before we put it in. So, there we go. And then this time, we're going to stop it manually. You can do that as well by just pushing on the on button. So, we finish around 16, 17 seconds, about 5 seconds or so faster than the slowest RPM. Okay, click, click, click a few times. Sounds good. There's coffee in there. 20 grams. Awesome. Pretty much no retention for this. So after a few use, now you fit in that nook and corner, corners with other finds, and now you have pretty much very low retentions for the grinder. One more thing about this grinder is that the burr that you've been, that we've seen before here, this is a static burr. So, which means that this stays still. The outer burr is the one that's working. Okay, let's put it back in. So, really easy to clean. All right, let's go pull some shots. Okay, so for this testing, we're gonna be testing the same coffee. We're gonna be using the same amount and we're using the same, very similar recipe. Comparing the RPM between the highest RPM, 150 RPM and 90 RPM and see what the taste is gonna be like. We're using our Guatemala La Primavera for our testing today, which is our house espresso. And we've been doing a few shots earlier at 150, just to see, compare, dial it in a little bit, and it seemed to be quite good. When compared to our EK or Malconic E65 SGBW, the coffee are slightly different. Um, even with the faster shot with this grinder, the finish still smooth, and we get a lot of acidity, a lot of sweetness out. We haven't had a bad shot yet, so it's been a really nice uh, experience to use this coffee in terms of espresso that's coming out. So let's go. We're gonna do the 150 RPM first, grind it going. All right, done. Give it a little click. Nice. There we go. I like to shake my distribution tools. There we go. Give it a little shake, 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 shake. Perfect. 
using is Jesse Tamper. Just Tamper is head of Jesse, our staff. You can buy this on our website. <laughs> okay. Let's go straight bar, nine bar. We're gonna do about 38 or so grams out and we'll see how long this will take. If it's channel, this is all my fault, not the grinder. 36 second, 37 gram. Okay, let's test, test. And we have Steely with us. Cheers. How is it, Steely? Very bright, sweet, juicy. Bright, sweet, juicy, smooth. There you go, everything you want in uh, espresso. It's actually pretty good. Um, lots of brightness, green apple, a little bit of green pear coming through, honey, almond, you have a little bit of hazelnut toward the end, chocolate as well. So. It's quite, quite nice on, on this one. All right, so we're going to keep this shot for now and we're going to be grinding at 90 RPM and then we're going to taste that one as well and see how it is compared to this one. Okay. This is the 90 RPM. We'll try to get the same amount out. We won't, don't worry about the time for this one. Okay. Straight eye bar. I think I need to improve on my tamping. Ah, it is faster. So we are at 30 seconds and now we are at about 36.6. Cheers. For me, it's a lot brighter compared to the first one. I wouldn't say necessarily in terms of intensity of brighter, but I think the quality of acidity is better. So that green apple become more clear. Um, I get that pear quite nice. Apricot showing up, so a little bit more of that stone fruit. Now, the nuttiness, came down yeah so we don't get as much of that almond the honey is still there we don't get as much of that chocolate but it's still there as well so this is really lovely i'm actually quite impressed actually in it because this is actually my first shot at 90 rpm we've been just testing with 150 rpm um, i'm very happy with this shot and this is lovely oh a user manual i can actually read so the user manual is also in english and also in chinese as well. So final thoughts, lovely grinder. The shots that we had, even when it was dialing it in, it was lovely. Um, we had like no bad shot or what we call like an undrinkable shot. Like all the shots were, were drinkable. They were, even though they were really high in acidity, it wasn't like chick puckling, you can't finish the cup. We didn't, didn't have that shot. I'm quite impressed by the quality of the shot actually that we test today. So we'll be putting this to test on our bar and see how it goes as well. And our customer will also be able to taste some shot. There's a few things that I definitely want to improve a little bit. Um, I wish the motor is a little bit more powerful. This is a 90 watt motor. And so um, when we grind with really hard beans, it choke a little bit. We didn't have to take it apart. We just press start again and it's go. So it's not a big deal because the quality of the grind is still quite nice on that part. But otherwise, I think this is lovely grinder. I do not know at this point what price point it will be uh, when it arrives at Robert Coffee. And we are gonna be distributing this grinder. So please look forward to it. They're made in Taiwan. They're, the burr is really nice. So easy to clean, really easy to do things. You can come to visit our shop, take a look at it as well. Um, if you're in Edmonton, do you have any questions about it? Put it in the comment section below and we'll answer them as well. If you have any thought, if you even test it in Portland or in Taiwan, play around with it or have taste the shot and have any suggestions for them or for us, or for the Mixed Cool team, leave them in the comment below. So again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Ply from Rogue Wave Coffee. See you next time.